Have you ever heard of a black KKK member? Spike Lee's newest joint brings the true life story to the big screen with Black Klansmen. Um, by the way, you look great. Thank you I so much. Thank you. They were like, we have the same heels, and I was like, hers are probably way more expensive. Um, but yours are really cute. <laughs> Thank you, Fashion Nova, right? They're like popping now. But uh, what I did want to ask you, I mean, you were in the film. Why do you think it was important to include footage from Charlottesville? I mean, it was, a different, it was set in a different time. Charlottesville's today. Why do you think it's so relevant? Because I think, you know, this is a period piece, but all of the subjects that we're talking about, all the themes that we're touching on are completely relevant today. And tying it all in with Charlottesville and ending the film with that, it's, um, it, it really is powerful and drives the message home. Yeah, and the movie has some funny moments in it. As you watched it or as you were acting in it, did you think you know, possibly the funny could overshadow the seriousness of the film? Were you ever wondering about that or? No, because I mean, this is a true story about the Klan planning a terrorist attack. You know, that's a, that's a very heavy thing, but I think that's why Spike is a brilliant filmmaker because he can find moments of humor in really serious subjects, like just which is very true to life, you know? And lastly, do you think Trump has emboldened racists today? Absolutely, 100%. Um, I don't think we would have seen what happened in Charlottesville, seen um, all of the hateful rhetoric that is happening in our country had we not had a president who basically endorses white supremacy. So, For you, what would you like to see one person do to kind of like maybe a step towards ending racism? I mean, we got a long way to go, but what would you like to see in action or some in Hollywood? Oh, I don't know. I, th I think we need to keep making films like this that, that talk about our current situation and, you know, stand up against it and say that this isn't okay. Thank you so much for your time.